Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Welcome to part eight of A Little Hope, or Little Hope, the Dark Pictures anthology. Why did I add the A in front? A Little Hope? Because that's how I feel. I have a little hope that I can get them all out of here alive. But I'm controlling Daniel again. If you remember, we just saved Taylor's ass. Well, not really. She saved herself. Daniel didn't do much. From what I can only describe as herself burnt alive back in the old witch trial days. We're now going to try and get back out into the main road and figure out what's going on. If you didn't watch last week's episode, we're all back, including Angela. So, um, I didn't actually get to check the bearings and stuff and see if anything else was added. Um, Team Taylor, there's a new one. There's a couple of new ones, actually. So, we can scroll through. Taylor pleaded for Daniel's help. Um, so, just a couple of new ones for Team Taylor. Um... Andrew agreed with John that Mary held some blame for the trial they witnessed. Andrew showed compassion towards Mary, telling John she was just a kid. Mary. That's how we got to say it. Mary. Joseph and John are the same person. These are just some new ones for Joseph. He's got a lot of them, old Johnny boy. Um, and then we've also got um, tools for survival, a gun. I didn't take the shot, which means we didn't kill Angela. Which is great. Andrew shot the demon in the woods that was attacking Taylor. So all I'm saying is, I think so far I've made some pretty cool, calm, calculated decisions, which is not like me at all. So let's continue as Daniel. I really don't want any of them to die now, even the ones I don't really like. What is this Blair Witch? Slenderman or the Crooked Man. Could be any of those. Those two are having a little powwow. Look, the sooner we get back on this main road now to this bush, I'm quite happy. This is a big ass warehouse kind of building. What happened back there with that thing? baffled no idea it was a real shit storm what do you think seemed like it wanted to haul my ass off into the woods can't even think about what might have happened to me is the tide beginning to turn in our favor whatever we saw back there or thought we saw we're still in grave danger we gotta stop mary the only way out of this freaking nightmare is to stop Mary, stop her lying. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. Another theory was setting fire to a doll would get rid of Mary. And how did that work out? It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong, and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. I'm just, you know, investigate the large building and stick together. Well, it's kind of hard. I'm just trying to keep everyone from descending into chaos and madness, you know? That's what I'm trying to do anyway. Um, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does. But that's my goal. I don't want everyone turning on each other. Uh oh. What was that? A secret? Is that what that is? I don't know what they call those premonitions or something. Pictures. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So it showed Johnny Boy getting absolutely crunched. We want to avoid that 
at all costs, okay? It says stick together, I know. I'm not going to go too far. I just want to see if there's anything glowing. Andrew, my man, is there. Andrew and Daniel lifted their game. You know what? Wasn't a fan of John, but after he saved Daniel by smashing that monster who I can only assume no was Daniel. In, like the rest of this fucking town. What's your language? Um, after he saved Daniel, I kind of... I don't mind, John. Mayor Hale's land deal. Fears protests will surely escalate as closure looms. Interesting. Why are you standing over here, old girl? Just making sure. Supposed to hear re elect Mayor Goldie Wilson. Carver for Mayor 666. For our future prosperity, Samuel Carver. People did not like him. El Diablo. Taylor's just chilling. Doesn't look like there's anything around here, so we're going to have to go up the uh, stairs. Johnny Boy's waiting. Guess we'll give it a red old go to bust in there. Check this out. You could have checked it out, John. You were just standing there. Hey! What's going on? That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. That car could... That confuses me. Well, no one's been here for a long time. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh, that, oh. Now it's my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her mm. new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. Creepy. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. I'm starting to switch. It is the Reverend. I don't think it's Mary. She hid from the Reverend. Abraham! Daniel tried to save her. What am I to do? He's constantly Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? Oh, I think it's the Reverend. Uh, this this is tough. Me. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary... It's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. 
Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm Little not Hall. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. The Reverend. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? It is. It is bad. This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? It went down just like he said. Supportive. I'll support Andrew. All the way. What Come on. the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Explore the factory, find another route out of the building. Why can't we find the one we came in? All right, clear that. Who have we got? Who have we got? Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. Oh, man, this is crazy. There's got to be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? True. Why don't you go and have a look then, Angela? Let us just push that up here. In memory of James Clark, 1929 to 1972, sadly missed by his many friends and colleagues. Sorry, Jimmy boy. But, uh, that, oh. Should I go in this room? Or is this outside? This is a room. Let's look in the drawer. They kiss my ass. That's it. Is that like a little <laughs> present from the game creators? Let's just put a piece of paper in a game that says kiss my ass on it. It has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, what have we got in here? Photo. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be like a... Look in the back, yo. It's going to be an interesting um, little photo if. Oh my goodness. Why does he keep doing that? Why can't I turn it around? Come on. Grab the box. That's a good man. Maybe I've got to spin it the other way. No, he just keeps putting it back. Okay. Unless something is broken. Because, like, I would have thought that maybe I could grab this paper and spin it over. No. Can't do anything like that. It's crazy. Okay. Nothing else to see here. Come on, Angela. Let's bite the dust. Let's get out of here like crazy. Okay, so we've walked down here. Could we go see what's in this room over here? Something on the wall we can examine. Oh, there's the judge. Judge. Yeah. 
more reading. All right. Okay, there's definitely something going on. Something's broken because he keeps picking stuff up, putting it down really quickly. Samuel L. or Samuel Noche, Lewis, then February 1693. Could be my controller, of course. It's possible. I could edit all this stuff out, but I'm not going to. It's all part and parcel with playing games. I want this to be as real and as genuine as possible, people. That's why the jump scares are real. Little Hope Factory to close. Hundreds of layoffs will gut the town. Nearly 600 jobs are set to be lost in Little Hope when the Raven Den Textile Factory closes its gates at their Harvard Roadside in September. Layoffs will include workers at the main factory and... Ang what is that? Ancillary? Or ancillary? I don't know what that word is. Businesses across the town. I guess that means adjoining, maybe. The decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver, a director in the family business that has been the primary employer in the town for over 160 years. With great sadness, we have made this decision. We consider the workers at the factory to be part of our extended family and know how much Ravenden means to them. But we can no longer continue to run the business. The rest is unreadable. Dialogue with the Carver family said McCarthy... Um, but while the daughters have been receptive to the union's ideas for saving the factory, Mayor Carver has rejected them at every turn. He went on, We want a partnership with the family to save their business and our livelihoods, but it seems as if the mayor does not accept partners. Another union worker who did not want to be identified expressed this bitter opinion. This is all about the land the Carvers have owned in town for generations. If they can't profit from the land, they will shut it down. As the main source of income for the majority of the town's families, many are worried what the future will bring. The factory closing will gut the town, one factory worker told the Herald, adding we, and it stops. Uh, ferryman, bus drivers wanted, full training given, uniform provided, apply Prime Transit, 12 Eden Street, Northbridge, MA, 01962. Don't know how much the rest of that bottom bit had to do with anything, but... Probably not a lot. Just double checking there's not anything around here that can be inspected. No. Because I know in these games there's things you can collect and stuff, you know? What up, T? Factory closure. The factory has been closed due to liquidation of Little Hope Textiles Limited. Following several incidents since the closure of the factory has been placed off limits. Attempts to enter the premises will be treated as criminal trespass. Any former workers wishing to retrieve property can contact our office 555-6686. I know that's probably an exit. I'll come back to you in a second, Taylor, because Andrew and Angela were standing over yonder. I can't get through that way, so I'll have to sneak through here. Just wondering what you're looking at there. Let's have a look what's in this locker. Oh, there's a picture. Is that that man that we constantly are seeing? What's the story here? She leave him for some other guy? Tanya and Vince, maybe? Or Tanya? Sorry. Or maybe, yeah. Look like anything else around here is glowing. John Boy is just standing around. Oh, maybe I should have went out that door. You hear that? Right below us. It's like a trap we door. need to find a way out of here now. Go in line. Just quickly see if there's anything flashing here. Oh, what is this? Why would you push that, Daniel? But let's do it. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. Ooh. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. We push together, right? Good. 
Now, push! Oh, but now we're gonna have to mash. X marks the spot. Why did we Whoa. break the floor? Oh, shit. Ah. oh, that was bad. Daniel? I just got Daniel you okay? killed. Oh! No! Help! Oh. I went to pull up. I should have attacked it. X. Let's go before anything else happens. What did I do? What have I done? I'm just... I regret my decision immensely to push that box. What did pushing the box actually benefit? Daniel? Where the fuck are you? Answer me! You see Daniel out here? No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. Who are we now? Oh, Angela. Didn't go well last time I was Angela. Oh, Danny boy. I hope you're still alive. You okay, Daniel? Where the fuck has he got to? Daniel? Uh, Please answer me! Take cool. We'll get him back. Big ass monster. Oh, Danny boy. Oh, Danny boy. I love you so. Alright, so any creaks. And <laughs> you're not going to believe me, but any creaks and cracks and fart noises Daniel? you hear. Where I are you, buddy? I swear they're my chair. <laughs> Well, most of them. Andrew! Hey! Daniel. You guys! I'm up here! Where are you, Daniel? Boy, am I happy to see you. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. Get up, Daniel. Yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> Thought I'd lost you. Can't get rid of me that easy. Angela. And if you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. I want to check for a battery or something. Oh, we yeah, what the bonnet? What is? What is that? Some sort of emblem on the bonnet? Well, I see where John Boy wants to go. 
Can we check the boot first? This is not breaking this game. I don't know how much of it I can take. Burn in hell. Nice. We'll try to forget I just saw this. Mr. Clark leaving the Little Hope Police Department yesterday. A line has been drawn under the tragic case of the Clark House fire. Onlookers watch as Anthony Clark, the only survivor of the blaze, was released from police. Thursday afternoon, one onlooker said, That poor boy, he must be going through hell right now. The Herald approached Mr. Clark for comment, but he has not. There's nothing, uh, it's like missing a whole chunk. Blamed Clark, who was found with a box of matches in his hand at the scene for causing the fire. When Clark left the Little Hope Police Department, passers-by were heard to something, something, and then burned in hell written on the top there. So, Well, oh, I don't know why I'm re-examining that. Um, we know if Anthony didn't do anything. We mean we played that. It was, it was Mary, but not Mary. Her name was Megan, but... Just because Megan was evil doesn't mean Mary's evil. The Reverend is behind almost everything, I think. You see that? What is that? It's Megan. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Megan. Uh, no one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe! Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. Our town is infected with madness. Roy, you but saints, servants, barely. We have to stop this. Oh, why? I'm help Joseph. Come on! Help me! Look! There can be no more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones! The devil must be crushed from within him! Do not flinch. Mary. The fate of Little Orb rests in your hands. Oh. We should have confronted Mary. I think he was going to get crushed no matter what. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? <laughs> Look, John! John! What are you doing? I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! <laughs> um... Reassuring. Gosh, this isn't gonna end well for me. I'm not good with these. Come on, you fuck! I'm ready. Uh oh. Get 
Get him, John. This is bad. Angela. Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. You did, John. I'm just not happy with my decision. It's gonna jump out at him. Where in God's name are we now? Place looks like it burnt down. Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. <laughs> this is a thrill ride. I can't. I can't take this anymore. This is where I'm going to end the episode. <laughs> I have kept everybody alive. Again, I don't know how. This makes the next episode even worse. I don't. I don't want anyone to die. But I, I'm not confident on my skill level to keep everybody alive constantly, okay? Thank you so much for everyone who's commenting, liking, and watching this video. Thank you everyone for who follows me on Instagram and is leaving comments about the videos as well. You can do the same at The No Good Game is my Instagram. The link is in the description and also it is at the end of the video. Thank you so much everyone for watching and I'll see you on the next one.